Thanks. Well, one thing's for sure. It was a great night to watch football. The weather making it seem like it's already fall. News Channel 5's Stephanie Ramirez also live at the stadium tonight. And Steph, I imagine you saw plenty of sweaters and blankets out there at the stadium. Chris, I did also jackets, winter vests, and oh yeah, winter hats. And it's the middle of August, but it all made for a fun night. The fans wear off, the sweaters on tonight at First Energy Stadium. Cleveland Browns fans enjoying a cool night for the 2013 Great Lakes Classic. Didn't know how to dress at first coming out here, but uh, it worked out pretty well. Others beforehand admitting the same. It's going to be perfect weather for a Browns game too, you know. But how did Paul DeVito get ready? Uh, not sure. <laughs> it's one of those where you put the long ones on and sweat till it gets cold or, you know. So you just drag a jacket and pray. <laughs> pray it didn't get any colder as temperatures reached more fall-like feels today. Doug Kosonik is a season ticket holder who says he was here around the same time last year. I think it was about 100 degrees. <laughs> What's that like, sitting and watching the game? With uh, it's not fun. It doesn't feel like football. <laughs> but the heat wasn't entirely gone. If you go to the Muni lot a little later on, it's going to be about 100 degrees in the Muni lot. We're going to be partying down because it's Browns time. It was a pleasant surprise for many fans, but if it's like this now, it makes you wonder what it'll be like a few months from now. That's why we're here not tonight instead of in the winter. <laughs> And actually, a lot of fans were saying they were wishing it was a lot cooler tonight because there was a streaker on the field. Not too many people happy to see that tonight. Live at First Energy Stadium on your side, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.